My name is Clyde Evans. I am a hip hop dancer. I've been teaching at Bates on and off probably for about the last 13 to 15 years, somewhere around that range. I've been to some master classes where it's all about the teacher and the teacher and it's like pick up whatever you can and uh, but I see the teachers here are so willing to help and that is what I'm trying to do also in my classes and have this three week period be something that is a growth spurt, if you will, in their dance career. A lot of times I've run into class, uh, in class, where kids are trying to emulate this hip-hop attitude that's being projected, uh, and that is just designed to sell. Um, again, with the rappers wanting to sell their music, they hired hip-hop dancers, and so it is a show. But freestyle is, is where it's at as far as the development of it. So in other words, you are really developing your own voice as to how you're going to um, attack a song or you know dance to some type of music so people really are interested in seeing you some of the dances that I know specifically one is called the monastery uh, which now is called the chicken dance or the chicken head um, that was developed by a girl who they made fun of because they thought she was dancing really funny uh, same thing with the Harlem Shake exact same thing but these dances developed because these people were being true to who they were and, uh, and, and how they were interpreting the music and it became a phenomenon so um, it's more important to be you and how you feel comfortable and uh, I think that you'll go far in hip-hop, the form will go far if dancers, more dancers, are more honest about the way they feel and the way they want to present and be a part of hip-hop culture.